Hello guys. So today I'm not doing not gonna sing, not gonna do any gaming. Just gonna tell you about my relationship uh breakup makeup story I guess is what you would call it. So I'm gonna talk to y'all about what happened like how we met what happened while we were there what happened when we broke up how we broke up why we broke up and what happened during the breakup and what's happened up to the point up to now and what I want to admit I'm going to detail about everything that has happened So, let's get started. So, one day we had me, my mom, my brother had this plan to go to my mom's friend's house. We're gonna call my mom's friend. Uh. I'm just gonna call her Becca. No way. So we had this plan to go to Becca's house and we didn't think we were gonna be able to go, but we ended up going. And when we got there we didn't expect anybody else to be there. We thought it was just gonna be me, my mom, my brother, and my mom's friend Becca and her husband. Well we got there, we started unloading all our stuff and put it in her house and we uh we out the back porch. Well, Monster Becca had a pool in her backyard. We were really in the pool. But when we got outside the backyard, there were four little kids and two teenage girls in the pool. We didn't know any of them. I only seen one of them every other time I've been there. And, uh, anyway, I told my brother, I said, I'm going to the pool. I said, yeah. So we put them in the pool. We did not talk to any other kids in the pool. Like, we did not talk to teenage girls or the little kids. Me and my brother were just talking to each other. Like, it's like the most we ever talked to each other ever, like, we even never thought that each other, uh, that much any other time after that. Up to now, we had never thought that anybody else any longer, like, that's the most my brother have ever probably taught when we went is to each other. Anyway, moving on. So, we, uh, went, we were going to go on the boat, that was our original plan. Because my mom's friend and her husband had a friend that had a boat that they would let us go on most of the time. Anyway, so we went on the boat. The girls went with us. Went, all the kids went with us. And. <clears throat> well, start playing in the water. We went to the sandbar, stay there till. till dark. We were back. Well, on the way back. Me and one of the teenage girls, was, girls were talking to each other, and I, I couldn't kind of, I couldn't tell that she had a crush on me, but I, I could tell the other girl had a crush on my brother. I just didn't say anything to him. So anyway, start talking, and a few days after that. <coughs> Uh, I was scrolling through Instagram and I was just looking, looking at other posts, just scrolling through my feed and checking my messages and everything. 
Oh, every other chicken roosters, dark swamp of our feed. <coughs> Sorry. And I posted a post a photo. And I got a message. Just randomly from my account that I've never seen before. Well, the message tag happened to come from the other girl that was on the boat with us. She said, when I called the other girl, that the one that had a crush on me, chest, on her neck. And she said, like she, she texted me and she's like, Hey, you remember, hey, you know how you got yeah, a separate design message, she said, hey, you remember that day we were on the boat, it was like me, you, your mom, and your mom's friend, I was like, yeah, I sent the message, and she said, well, I gotta tell you something, I said, okay, she said, but you cannot tell anybody, I said, okay, go ahead, she said, well, change the lights, I was like, okay, like, I didn't know how to respond to that, because, like, kind of like her too, but it's just, like, yeah, she said, she's scared that you're going to stop talking to her, I was like, I was like, okay, I won't, she said, well, she likes you, but don't say anything about it, I said, okay, I won't, she said, she knows I've told you, but don't say anything to anyone else, I was like, okay, she said, she's scared she's going to talk She's good. You're gonna stop talking to her. She said that like ten times since I told you that. She said I'm not. I'll still talk to her. She said okay, good. So after that, we start. I start talking to her more, and the only way I could communicate with my girlfriend was through her. So, like, cause I don't know the context of why my girlfriend was grounded and why she did not have her phone with her. I don't know the context of that. Not any of that, but. Get there. Get to the part where we we go. Anyway, we've been on two dates. Only two. Since we I start date. First date we just went to the movies and got a picture. And I will show that to you all. We you know the little photo booth at the movie theater that y'all get that you can get in. And that. Picture. Then we left. Well, second day we went to Los Roscos. If you were in the south, you know what that is. If you're in the north, you probably never heard of it. Los Roscos is basically a uh, Mexican restaurant. They make some music and you eat Mexican food. It's really good. You have chips and sauce and everything. And uh, anyway, moving on. After the second day, I gave her, it was close to Christmas, so I gave her a shirt, one ring that my mom wanted me apparently to give her, and I gave her a necklace that had her her first initial on, I gave her this, one just like it. So anyway, give that, and then... We did not talk to each other all through hunting season. All through hunting season. Except like once or twice towards the end of hunting season. Then we never talked again. Well, we talked on one last time before we broke up. And that was like the week before spring break in February. And moving to hell a little bit. And I'll go back. Um, I did not feel any pain. I didn't even feel bad. Until <clears throat> until April, roll around. Like roll around, there was a whole lot of pain. <sighs> anyway, so <clears throat> go back. Uh, we before spring break, her friend had just run up to us and said, I repeat, Chastity did not, 
I repeat, you did not tell me to ask you this, but are you cheating on I said, no, but I'm thinking about breaking up with her. Yeah, so, anyway, that was during school. It was like the day before spring break begun, and I changed my mind throughout the day. Because I was talking with all my friends, asking them what they thought I should do, and everything. I changed my mind to where I made my own decision and said that I didn't want to break up with her. Now you're probably thinking, well, why did I break up? Why we broke up is because apparently she thought that. I was serious about it, that she thought I was for real, that I actually meant it, even though I didn't, and I couldn't fix it, because school was over by the time I saw the message, and like, there was no way I could talk to her, so she called me one last time, and I didn't really get a chance to tell her what exactly happened. Well, Anyway, so we went for break, spring break, and I told Frank I was thinking about breaking up with her, changing her mind, and she already thought I meant it. So a couple days go by, up to last Thursday, which is May twenty third, May twenty third. I have to stay with my mom. My mom picked me up to her to friend's house. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Five days. And, uh... And, uh... She had come over. She was there. I didn't know she was going to be there. Anyway, so, like... So... My friend's mom is my ex-girlfriend's grandma, and um, Becca's, which I refer to as my mom's friend, her daughter is my ex-girlfriend's mom, stepmom. So anyway, she said, she said, you know, stepmom's coming over, and my mom looked at me. Like, nope, so I'm never like, what? She said, your ex girlfriend's going to be there. I was scared because I didn't know how to, like, approach her. Like, like what she was going to talk to me. Like, what would I say? And she was like, uh, she was like, well, don't argue. Happy? I'm like, I'm happy, scared, like, and like, I, I'm a mix of all emotions, basically. So, anyway, come over and I ask her stepmom. We're going to refer to her as as Jess. For her as Jess. And well, anyway, uh, after I get the note to my girlfriend that I slipped her, which was basically asking her if she would go back out with me. I started approaching my girlfriend when we got back from the store, because I gave her a note and then me and my mom went to the store right after I gave her the note. So, I gave my girlfriend a note, or my ex-girlfriend a note, I still consider her my girlfriend. That, I'll get to that later in the video. But, after I gave her a note, when we got back from the store, I approached her, and from behind me, I hear her step on call my name. She said, Dylan, come here. I was like, turn around, so, okay, to myself, and what the? Now I have my sunglasses on, like this. So, I want to look this, I was like, so, she said, I read the note that you gave Chastity, uh, and 
she was supposed to pick up the boyfriend that she had two days ago. And she just done that. Who is a friend that told you she still liked you? Now, the friend that texted me was one of her lowdown friends, that, and you always want to have a lowdown friend because they can get you out of certain situations. I don't have the friend, but I have a friend like that. I have a friend that his personality is just a wish and can give me out of certain situations if I need it, should I need it. I mean, I can get myself out of most situations, but anyway, get back into the relationship. Uh, so she, uh, she basically just said, y'all can be friends, and y'all can side hug and all this, but you can't do any boyfriend help or stuff. So she's like, are you okay? Because I'm not, I'm having a panic attack. I'm like, yeah, but you could see the pain in my eyes, but since I have a sunglasses on, you couldn't, like, you could see I was upset in my eyes, but you can tell that because I have my sunglasses on. So I turn around. I walk to the side of the house. Call my friend. We're gonna call him George. He's a black guy. <laughs> Just specifying. But I walk to the side of the house. Call him up. I said, "Hey, what's up?" I said, "Hey." I said, "So you remember when I told you me and my girlfriend pick up?" He said, "Yeah." I said, "Well." Remember when I told you I was trying to get back with her? He said, yeah. I said, well, that failed. <laughs> he said, what do you mean? I said, well, I gave her a note that was saying basically I wanted to get back with her. Well, her mom got the note and read the note and won't let me get back out with her. And I'm going to tell you something that I probably shouldn't, but her mom said that she wouldn't let me go out with her because there was trust issues of someone at my age. 15 to a 17 year old. Well, to myself I'm thinking, what's different the first time than the second time? Because in my mind, technically what happened, we never actually broke up. Like, I never committed to that. I never did. So, well, I mean, I never come in to break it up. So, in my mind, we never broke up. She doesn't think that no one else knows that. Except her. I told her that exact same day what happened. Anyway, call them, talk to her about 30 minutes or more. And I hang up. Well, while I was on the phone with him, my ex-girlfriend and her stepmom were sitting beside each other, and they were talking about what what happened. They were talking about the note. They were talking about her talking to me and all that. Talking about what our relationship was before, what it was before, and what it has transitioned into. Now, what it was transitioned into didn't really matter that much to either one of us. So anyway, after I got off the phone, with, well, before I got off the phone with him, my girlfriend approached me like three times and I was still on the phone. I told him, I said, hey, look, I gotta go do something. I'll call you back sometimes later this week, which I never did. <laughs> but, uh, just had to have time. Anyway, so, I was approaching me another time, and we just started talking like nothing ever happened. The first thing she said was sorry about that. I'm like, yeah, that can be sorry for. <laughs> so my fault. That being said, she started talking about. I said so. She said, so how's your family going? I'm like, good. Even though despite breaking up with her, it was going great. But I said, how's your family going? She said. Good. And she sounded like she was uncertain with that by asking questions. But anyway, I said, so you going to knock her? She said, yeah. So she said, but I kind of don't want to go. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, 
uh, well, high school was a really big school and we used to short uh, small schools. I'm like, yeah, my middle school was kind of short. I was like, kind of a small school and that's a size threw me off when I went to high school, which was last year. I'm going into 11th now, I just got done 10th grade. But anyway, that's not relevant. That's irrelevant to this conversation, to this video. But anyway, moving back. When we broke up, a uh, couple months, maybe maybe 30 days after, it wasn't that long, I found out that she had another boyfriend, his name was Logan. That's his real name, because I don't care about putting his, his name with anything else. But <laughs> his name was uh, Logan. And that just like beat my body down to the lowest level of upsetness that you could possibly get to. Like, that just put me low down. And a lot of people, if you're going through the same thing, I'm going to tell you how I got through this. The way I coped was this music. I would write songs, play songs, sing songs. Sing songs that I make, do covers, anything. And when I say write songs, I mean actually write songs. I have songs. My well, latest one's called Wait on 18. I'll get to that. Um, anyway, so move back forward. Anyway, Memorial Day, we all went on the boat. I was sitting beside her, we started talking and freaking everything. We started having the same conversations that we've been having. The day, Friday, like Friday she came over, and Saturday she came over. We talked for those days, Saturday we just ate and just exchanged a couple words, we didn't really have a full conversation. But anyway, like, <clears throat> Memorial Day we had a full fledged conversation. And what was funny was her little sister was with us that day on the boat. Like, we were all at the same while all of her parents were there, and it was me and her and her siblings. And relatives. Oh, well, we had like three little kids and it was me and her. We were talking and her little sister burst me. And I was talking to her just playing around. It's like, it's like seven or eight. Like, I was just playing around. She said, stay away from my sister. I'm like, I went, I'm not going to get nowhere near your sister. I was, I couldn't laugh because I, had, I knew she was serious, but just the age she is and the way she said it was just so funny. And I was like trying to hold back a laugh. So as soon as she walked away, I just busted out laughing. And I knew not to do anything, but if she approached me. Like her, like, she didn't know anything that her little sister told me. She didn't even hear that. Hear that being said, like she did not hear that. So she approached me, and in my mind, I'm thinking, well, I didn't approach her. I can't stay with. She approached me. She approached me and we started talking, 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 talking. This was Memorial Day. And we got a boat. And she left. She just left. And my mind, I was thinking if, if I tell her that I can still consider her my girlfriend, like if I say this, this is exactly what I was going to ask, like this is how I was going to ask her this question. And I'll say, you know, I still consider you my girlfriend. But what do you consider me since I still consider you my girlfriend? Like, do you consider me a friend, boyfriend? What, what, what do you consider me? And just as you would know what I wanted here, but I, she's not the girl that will tell you which one she is. She's going to tell you straight up the truth. <laughs> she's like me, I'll tell you the truth before it hurts. But anyway. If you're going through this, hopefully, if you're going through the same situation, hopefully this video will help you cope with that. Just know you're not alone. I'm going through the same thing. But anyway, so days and getting up to now, like a couple of days ago, I started talking to George and told him everything, and then I started talking to two of my other friends. One called one of them Bill, and one 
called the girl Stephanie. Stephanie has helped me with a lot of relationship problems during that, and I've helped her with plenty of relationship problems. Or not plenty, but a couple. And I'm really thankful for that. If you see this, which you probably will, <laughs> thank you. But anyway, switching over to Bill. Bill, he's kind of the guy that will tell you, will have sympathy for you, but won't really show it. I, I told him everything that happened, and the one thing I told him that I didn't tell him of my friends, I said, do you think there's a way I can change her mom's mind? She's like, and he's like, yeah, there's always a way. And that was all he would say. Like, that's, he was showing, like, he had sympathy, but he wasn't really showing it. Anyway, uh, my brother and my dad, they were the reason, this is, this is the reason we broke up. I had let everybody else, everybody else's assumptions, I guess, of my girlfriend and get to me. Sorry about that. But anyway, that's what I was saying. So, backing up before I continue with Bill. Uh, So during the breakup, I once I once I heard she moved on, I decided to try to move on. Well, I talked to her friends, and there's one key rule that you can that you need to follow that actually works because I've tried it. I know it works. It's the no contact rule. It's like the number one tip to getting your girlfriend back, your ex back, and it's actually working really well. But the no contact rule is where you don't contact her, you don't contact your friends, you don't contact anybody that is any relevance to her that she can tell that you contacted them. And one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to tell her friends not to tell her because they're going to tell them anyway. Even if you don't tell them not to tell them or even if you tell them not to tell her or to tell her not to tell her. She's going to tell them anyway. Anyway, so that forward. Bill has a girlfriend. Alright. This is why this is relevant, relevant to what I'm about to get to. Bill has a girlfriend that he's been hanging out with her. This just happened recently. He's been hanging out with her for the past few days and she had got on his Snapchat and posted on a story and everything. Well, she sent me a snap. I don't know if she said anybody else snap, but she sent me. Just me and the snap. First one said, well, first was a text, then it was two snaps. First was, I asked him if he wanted to hang out. He said, uh, he can't right now. He's swimming with me. Uh, he can, like, after not. So I called him not. Didn't anyway, last night, yeah, last night, he said, there's three snaps. Two were from his girlfriend, one was from him. So, the two from his girlfriend, she sent me a snap, said, said, hey, or something like that. And I texted back, I said, who is this? Because I, my dumb self by it, he was using the girl filter, which didn't look nothing like him. Which, the girl filter can't actually make you look like actual girl. The second one was like, she, Sent us that message. Who the, who the hell else? His girlfriend. I'm like, okay, yeah, I just sound like a dumbass. Anyway, then he sent us that message like, G and streaks, good night streaks, okay? Well, now, getting to why I wrote a song called Waiting on 18. My mom had told me that, that she had literally told me that, that, my mom told me that my girlfriend told her, keep in mind, I'm still talking about my ex, but I consider her my girlfriend, that she had told her that she said to hell with her mom, she can't do anything about her right here, right now, but when she turns 18, she can date whoever she wants, she's gonna come back to me. 
that really hit me hard. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Hope this helped anybody going through the same thing. Cool, just know you will get third. And hope you enjoy.